Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. In my office, I have a multi-monitor setup and sometimes I need to make adjustments to the brightness, the contrast or change the input source. And the controls can be quite fiddly depending on the model of monitor that you have. Mine have an awkward button that sits just at the back and I have to reach around in order to be able to hit it and then use it to navigate the menu, which I don't really like at all. Now Display Buddy is an application that lets you manage your multiple displays directly from the menu bar. I've just discovered it and I love it, so I just wanted to share it with you. Okay, so where's Display Buddy available? Well, you can buy it individually from the developer's site or you can use it as part of the SetApp subscription that many of you have. And that's the version that I'm going to use here. We can see here that it's a really simple interface and there's information here in SetApp on exactly what Display Buddy can do. But I'm going to open it for the first time here where we have a welcome message. I'll just close this setup window behind and I'll click to begin setup. Now Display Buddy uses the DDC CI protocol to communicate with your external monitors. And this is a bit like the most generic way of being able to get Display Buddy to work with as many monitors as possible because there are loads of makes and models out there. And the protocol may not work with your monitor. In fact, I'll show you here that I need to actually tweak a setting in Display Buddy to get it working with mine. Now, if it doesn't work with your monitors, you've bought it directly from the developer's site, then you're entitled to a full refund. But I'll click I agree. And then on this screen, I'll click finish. Now the icon will appear in the menu bar, but it's hidden for me at the moment because I use Bartender to keep my menu bar nice and tidy. So I'll just pause and enable it here. Okay, the icon is indeed there now in our menu bar. So I'm gonna come up and click. And we can see the two monitors that I've got attached here. Now the model name is listed and I'd quite like to make the names a little bit more user friendly. So I'll click the drop down where we have a pop out menu of stuff that we can do with this monitor. Now at the top, we can change the display name. So I'll click and I'll rename this one to be my left hand monitor. Click save. Now I'll come down to this one, select change display name. And this one's going to be my right hand monitor. I'll save it. And there, that looks a lot better. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.